In this tutorial video, we will be looking at interactive chord diagrams in Onsong. Onsong works great with text-based chord charts and detects chords, but you can also choose how to play these chords in different variations. If you need help writing chord charts to detect chords, please watch our tutorial video on writing songs in the Onsong file format. Let's start by tapping on a chord in the Song Viewer. This opens the Chord Inspector which lets you view how to play the chord on different instruments. Tap on a tab on the bottom to choose between guitar, piano, bass, ukulele, mandolin, or even banjo. Swipe left and right to view different variations. This is great for learning how to play, or even to expand your chord vocabulary. Now let's say we want to view these chord diagrams on the page instead. Let's tap on the slider icon to open up the Style Preferences menu. And then tap on the eyeball icon in the right of the Diagrams slider. Now. Chord diagrams are displayed at the bottom of the page. We can also change where the diagrams appear in Settings. Tap on the gear icon, and then Settings, then choose Display Settings, and Song Formatting. Here's where you can change the way the song is displayed on the screen. Go to the Chord Diagram section at the very bottom. Here we can change diagrams to left-handed mode. Choose a default instrument, or even change the diagram position. Let's pick Above Lyrics and tap Done. There, that's much better. Or maybe we want to have the chord diagrams appear instead of the actual chord letters. Let's go back and choose Within Lyrics instead and then tap Done. Maybe that's a little small. Let's change the size using the Diagrams and the Chord Size slider, like this. Onsong uses the most common chord diagram for the chord. To change that, tap on the Chord or Diagram to open up the Chord Inspector again. Tap on a different variation of the chord. When the Chord Inspector closes, the new diagram will be drawn on the page instead. Let's try tapping on a different instrument and choose a variations to see the chord diagrams change to that instrument. Remember, Onsong remembers the preferred instrument and chord variation for the song. If you are learning to play an instrument, it's very helpful to hear the chord when you play it. To do this, you first need to download the Soundbanks add-on. Soundbanks can be acquired by going into the Utilities menu, then Add-ons, and then simply buying the add-ons. Since I have already bought the add-on on my iPad, you can see that it shows a check mark next to it. If for any reason you are changing iPads, you can always restore your purchases of the add-on simply by tapping and sliding left. After you have done that, make sure you tap on the Activate button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen to make the changes. Once the sound banks are installed, you can play the chord by tapping on a chord in the Song Viewer to open the Chord Inspector. Tap on the speaker icon in the upper left-hand corner to turn the sound on. Please note that this feature will only work in a plain text file format when you import it. Tap on a variation in the Chord Inspector to hear how the chord will sound. 
you can change the instruments on the bottom to hear how the chords will sound if you play them on different instruments. You can also change how Onsong plays back chords by going into the settings screen. Choose live settings, and then chord playback. Here, you can change what happens when you tap on a chord or a diagram. You can also change the arpeggio and duration of the strum. While Onsong comes with the chord dictionary for common chords, you may want to add another chord definition. You can do this by opening up the chord editor, then tapping on edit in the chord inspector. Here, you can see the same chord diagrams as before in a grid. You can also add a new definition by tapping on the plus button here. Type X to not play a string, zero to play the string open, or one through nine to choose a fret. Now if you need to use higher frets, use A for 10, B for 11, and so on and so forth, through Z. This gives you up to 36 fret positions. Tap done to add the chord. Tap on a chord diagram and then on the active menu that appears in place of the plus button. Here, you can delete and edit the variation, set it as a default version of the chord, or play it back using the sound bank. You can also edit chord diagrams for other instruments by tapping on the tabs at the bottom of the editor. One last thing, if you are using the MIDI integration add-on, you can also play back chord variations using your MIDI device instead. To enable this, go into the MIDI editor and settings, tap on the wrench icon, then choose a channel to play the chords on. This will send MIDI note events to your device instead of being played through a sound bank. So I hope this gives you some ideas of how you can better see and hear the chords in Onsong. Stay tuned for more video tutorials and product reviews. If you have any other questions, feel free to email us at support at onsongapp.com. Thanks guys, see ya.